Biogas generator that will use human waste to produce cooking gas for the residents of Bingunguti was launched yesterday. Speaking to journalists, the project's director, who works with Cambridge Development Initiative, CDI, Martha Stokes, said. We wanted to introduce this system as a solution to the sanitation issues experienced here in Dar es Salaam and all over the world. Traditional methods of sanitation solutions do not always work in places such as Vinganguti where the population is very densely packed together. Simplified sewage is a good solution because the pipes are very small, they can be buried very shallowly in the ground and they can go around tight bends such as the ones that are here in Vinganguti. However, she said before supplying gas in the first three months they will be conducting research on amount of the gas produced and the actual number of residents who would benefit. The main thing we want to learn is how much gas is produced and what quality of gas is produced. Eventually, when we have worked out and obtained the, the best method of producing good gas for cooking with, there will be different sorts of cookers that you can cook with, uh, you know, gas cookers. And um, we're looking at ways of adapting traditional charcoal cookers very easily to be used instead, so that it's not going to be very expensive. But this is, that's sort of really the next stage of the project that we'll be looking into. Volunteering engineer of the project, Miss Ria Sud, also says, um, my name is Ria Sood and I'm part of the Cambridge Development Initiative which is a collaboration between students from the University of Cambridge in England and RD University in Dar es Salaam. This summer we are piloting a project um, for the first time to connect a biogas generator to a simplified sewerage system. So ultimately the aim is that uh, the simplified sewerage system will be able to produce uh, gas that can be sold back to the community and therefore provide a sustainable business model by which we can expand simplified sewerage hopefully throughout DAW and the world hopefully. So in terms of the cost of the system, um, we've worked out a cost structure with the community whereby they pay for their own latrine and then um, it's a charitable, do charitable donation from Cambridge Development Initiative for the other half of the network. Um, but we've been kindly sponsored by Plasco Pipes, who've provided all the pipes for the network. Um, so the reason why we are focusing on the biogas generator this year is to hopefully uh, eradicate the need for having a charitable donation for this system. So it will kind of fund itself by, by selling the gas that it produces, ultimately. Maria Mtili, Mwananchi Digito.